There are certain red flags that every woman knows that let you separate the players from the real men. But did you know that there are also warning signs that you need to watch out for further on in your relationship? These red flags will let you know that he isn't going to be a good husband, father, or life partner. And if you notice any of them, it means you should look elsewhere if you're looking for something more serious. Hi, I'm Amy North, author of The Devotion System and Tax Chemistry. I specialize in dating advice for women who know what they want. If that's you, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel so that you can get a new video every week. So first off, we need to talk about red flags more generally. It's important to note that it's not these red flags in themselves that make him not husband material, but rather it's what these red flags imply about his character, personality, and maturity level that will create a problem down the road if the two of you stay together. These red flags signal things like commitment issues, dishonesty, and emotional immaturity. Inconsiderate, inconsistent, can't manage his emotions. So, he takes a lot out on you. Relationships are often hard work, but if you feel like you need time to recharge after hanging out with him, this is a sign that he's going to be difficult to spend your life with in the long run. When a relationship is functioning properly, it's meant to recharge your batteries, not drain them. Whether it's his constant need for attention and validation, his erratic and surprising behavior, or his constant need for sex, a boyfriend who tires you out is one you should think carefully about before marrying. Two, he doesn't have any long-term friends. It's difficult for many people to build long-lasting relationships, but if he has trouble making friendships last, this could be an indicator for the longevity of his relationships. Be mindful of how he talks about his friends, both past and present. Is he very demanding or critical? Are all of his many fallings out caused by the other person with him refusing to take any accountability? We've all had rough patches in our own friendships. It's by working through these rough patches that you forge a stronger bond. If he's always willing to bail at the first sign of trouble, this can mean that he doesn't have emotional intelligence or the ability to compromise. Three, he makes plans but doesn't follow through. If he talks a big game but can't put his money where his mouth is, this is a red flag for your future together. This can be seen in anything from his personal life, to his career, to his long-term goals. On one hand, we all strive to be better people, and sometimes our reach exceeds our grasp. It's when his lack of follow-through has an effect on you and your relationship that you may be in real trouble. So, maybe he promised you something and then broke his promise. Maybe he always says that the two of you will take a trip together, and then something always comes up. If you do decide to marry this guy, get ready for a lifetime of big promises and even bigger disappointments. Four, he gets upset when you go out with your friends. Some men will be out and out hostile when you do anything without them. Others will just be a little peeved when you go out dancing with the girls. But the truth is, if he is at all resentful that you have your own life, then this is a serious red flag for your relationship. A real man will be happy that you have your own life, friends, and activities that don't involve him. He'll be okay with you spending time alone without needing constant presence and validation. When he gets testy when he, you spend time without him, it signals a few things that will spell problems in your relationship. It means that he's jealous and possessive of you. It means that he's self-centered and feels that his own comfort comes before your happiness. It means that he has issues with codependency and can't bear being alone. Steer clear of guys like this as their jealousy and resentment will only grow stronger with time. Five, he doesn't learn from his mistakes. Do you feel like you're having the same fights over and over? Do you find that you have to keep telling him the same thing again and again? These are hallmarks of a guy who won't learn from his mistakes. This can be for several reasons. Maybe he doesn't respect your feelings and just tells you what you want to hear with no intention of changing his behavior. Maybe he's so self-centered that he isn't aware of how his actions affect other people. Or maybe he just lacks the ability to grow and change in a meaningful way at this point in his life. None of these are great reasons and they're all red flags for your future marriage. A man who won't learn is not one you should spend any more time with. Tired of men who don't treat you the way you deserve? I created a video for women who are looking to maximize their romantic opportunities and find the man of their dreams. You can find this over at coachnorth.com. This video is completely free and it covers in extreme detail three things that make men take you seriously. That's coachnorth.com. Check it out right now. Six, he never apologizes. Conflict is a natural part of every relationship. 
It's how we deal with this conflict that can bring us together or drive a wedge between us. If you find that your fights end with a stony silence and a slow return to normal without any sort of apology or acknowledgement of what went wrong, this is a red flag for your future together. He doesn't need to get on his hands and knees and beg for your forgiveness, but he should make an effort to see your point of view and understand how he made a mistake. A truly effective apology includes three parts. An acknowledgement of how he hurt you, a statement of apology, example, I'm sorry, and the promise to do better going forward. But if you fall short, it's not a huge deal. Most people don't know how to properly apologize to another person. In this case, it's more the thought that counts. And remember that all these red flags are a two-way street. Do you get angry at him for going out with friends? Do you make a lot of promises and then flake on them? Remember that while it takes two people to build a marriage, it only takes one person to ruin it. Did I miss any major red flags? What has been a deal breaker for your past relationships? Let me know in the comments below. You know I read each and every one of you personally. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.